spinal cord injuries can be devastating, with little hope of recovery or regaining lost movement and feeling in one's functioning limbs. Researchers in the field have been looking to stem cells as a tool to reconnect the severed lines of sensory communication between the body and the brain for years. And now, a team of scientists have successfully used stem cell grafts to regrow tissue in the severed spinal cord of a rat, inching ever closer to a treatment for debilitating spinal cord injuries in humans. The international team, led by researchers at the University of California, San Diego, UCSD, used a specialized type of stem cell to regrow nerve tissue in damaged spinal cords. By grafting neural stem cells to the site of injury, they were able to re-establish the connections between the spine and the rat's brain, resulting in a gain of function and movement in their front legs. The team said that the findings are important as they show that regeneration of nerve cells at such a critical junction between the spine and the brain is possible, and that the tails of these cells, the axons, which carry nerve signals, have within them the mechanisms needed for repair. The corticospinal projection is the most important motor system in humans, said Professor Mark Tashinsky, a neuroscientist at UCSD and senior author of the study. He added, it has not been successfully regenerated before. Many have tried, many have failed, including us, in previous efforts. The new thing here was that we used neural stem cells for the first time to determine whether they, unlike any other cell type tested, would support regeneration. And to our surprise, they did. They used neural stem cells, immature cells which are primed to develop into nerve cells, establishing connections with other cells as they grow. In their experiments, the group was able to repair the corticospinal tract, the axons which emerge from the cerebral cortex and run along the spinal cord, and which are needed to communicate nerve signals for movement. I was doubtful that most therapies taken to humans would improve function, said Professor Tashinsky. Now that we can regenerate the most important motor system for humans, I think that the potential for translation is more promising. According to Tashinsky, while the results are a key step towards treatment, but the group has a lot of work to do in order for the approach to move to humans, including proving the technique is safe in other animals. We must establish long-term safety and long-term functional benefit in animals. We must devise methods for transferring this technology to humans in larger animal models. And we must identify the best type of human neural stem cell to bring to the clinic. The findings are published in the journal Nature Medicine. Stem cells hold great promise for repairing damaged nerves, but progress is necessarily slow due to safety concerns. Christopher Reeve, the U.S. actor who played Superman in the film franchise, became a champion for stem cell research after a horse riding accident left him paralyzed from the neck down. Until his death in 2004, Reeve dedicated his life to campaigning for stem cell research for those with spinal injuries in 2012. Scientists used cells from the lining of a dog's nose to treat spinal injury, repairing the damaged section of the animal's spine and restoring function in the dog's back legs. The same approach was used in 2014 to help a man walk again after being paralyzed for a number of years following a knife attack. The man was able to walk again with the support of a walking frame after cells from the lining of his nose were grafted to the damaged region of his spinal cord. However, in both cases that damage was further down the spine, rather than at the point where the nerve axons project from the brain, as in the rat studies.